Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tactics Ogre Reborn. Last time we left off, we finished up things in Bode, and we are going to be going to Fidoc because we got someone new to take out now. The chalk used in the construction of this castle's walls gives Fidoc its nickname, the Swan, and is nonetheless a powerful fortress situated in the middle of the island. Um, so, a few things. Uh, multiple people have mentioned that there's new stuff in Farampa. I don't think I'm going to do that today, because today will probably have to be a shorter episode. Um, I just woke up, and I'm a little bit behind, because I had a bunch of stuff to do yesterday. Um, so, we're probably just going to be doing one battle, but... Um, someone did mention there's another hidden cutscene over here. Um... The Duke's Demise, Princess Kashua... I don't know which one of these is it. Yeah, Begging for Quarter, we've seen that one. The Duke's Demise, we've seen. Prince Kashua, we've seen. That one, we've seen. Is it this one? Dark Knight? No. This one. No. Hmm. Oh, oh wait, so I think someone- I think someone mentioned it may- they're, they're not sure when it pops up. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. It looks like we're coming up to another break, though you can actually see uh, over here that we're coming up to another one. Uh, yeah, I think someone mentioned they're not sure when it pops up, but it pops up sometime this chapter. So, uh, yeah, I think we've seen all of these. My bad. Oh my god, there's a lot of updates there. Uh, nothing here. Okay. Denim! Uh... Battle with Sir Lainar, he learned the Duke planned to forge a secret treaty with the Knights, Dark Knights of Slorian. He set off for Rhyme to stop the proceedings, but before he could act, the Duke was killed through Vice's treachery. With the resistance rudderless, he offered to take the helm, and he now commands all of Southern Valeria. He was garrisoned in Rhyme when the Bakum invaded. Though they fought well, the garrison was overcome by superior numbers. The captured resistance forces were held prisoner in Rhyme, but Lancelot has not been seen among them. It's not known whether he survived the battle. Starseer. Uh, the Bakram took him prison prisoner when they invaded Rhyme. He later escaped with Sir Myrdan and Sir Gildas, but was left grievously wounded. Though he managed to return to Almorca, his wounds have left him in an unwaking sleep. Yep, you're the one we saw earlier. Sir Myrdan. Uh, let's see here. He's a man of few or er, the Bakram took him prisoner. He later escaped to the Sarsir of Warren Oman and Sir Gildas and was reunited with, uh, Denim. And you reunited with me. Uh, she freed a boon of Prancet from his imprisonment in Heim and spirited him to Bode. Though several comrades were killed at the hands of Dark Knights sent to wipe out partisan forces, Surya was saved by Denim. She then joined the Order of Shadow Scale, seeing in Denim a kindred spirit. Uh, Ronway is dead as shit, taking a dirt nap. After the massacre at Bal Mamusa, he overthrew Hierophant Balbados and took control of Kryptonai. However, he was assassinated by one of his own men during the attempt to recapture Rhyme from the Bakram. And Prancet. Uh, former Abuna. He was captured again by the Dark Knights Oz and Ozma, perhaps due to failing health. It seems he did not resist when they took him away. And then, yeah, they're still looking for Menaflora, so... Cool. There's a, there's a few updates there. Um, the other thing people have mentioned is, uh, I should be careful with the White Knight classes, uh, because only certain characters can use it. Um, we get a limited amount of the marks, which, uh... I have five of them. I thought I only had one, but we have five, so that's pretty nice. Um, and, uh, yeah, so only certain characters can use them. You only get a certain amount. And, of course, as we saw last time, the, uh, the class is pretty busted. Um, but, that being said, I don't want to use too much of one class. So, I mean, unless I just run into a battle that's, like, crazy, crazy difficult or something. Um, I don't see much need to use... I don't like to use duplicate classes, basically. I like to have some variety in my party as much as I can, so... We'll see. Um, I'll keep, uh, Gildas a Dragoon for now, but, uh, if I ever feel the need to turn him back into a White Knight, I can. We have five of the marks, which is more than I thought we had. So, whatever. Uh, I don't think new stuff appeared in the shop, if I remember correctly, right? We do have some money, though. Not a lot, however. But yeah, I don't- I don't think anything new appeared in the shop. Yeah, I think it's... the same stuff. Yeah. Alrighty. Well... 
I guess we're just gonna go ahead and hop into our next battle here. Not really much for me to do here. I could upgrade some equipment, but... Eh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Alright, Fidoc. Let's just go ahead and get into you. Like I said, I gotta, I gotta get this episode recorded and up today, so... Alrighty. Boom. And we get to choose. We wanna go to South Curtain? Or the West Curtain? Uh... This one looks like it has a bit more elevation. I mean, they're both pretty similar to each other. We went, we went, we went to the left side last time, so let's go, let's go to the south this time. Last time we had one of these. Perform an attack that strikes multiple tiles and obtain a buff card. Alrighty, let's check out. We have twelve slots. That's something important to point out. Okay, we're we got dragons. We got dragons. Thunder dragon. Flood dragon. Okay. Well, that's something to note. They don't have a, um... They don't have a Beastmaster, though. To buff them. God, the hiccups, please. Uh, you're my target. An Enchantress. Ooh, you can actually equip Balder shields now. Neato. Another shield that, uh... The, like, Enchantresses and Wizards can actually equip. Alright, well, let me look at, uh, what all they're rocking and everything and see what I want to do. Alright, I think this is the squad I'm gonna run with. Uh, I have Murden in because, um, Murden is my, uh, Dragoon still. So, I switched Denim over to Dirks because we want to be doing more Pierce damage and these can silence because there's a bunch of mages in here. Um, everyone else, I mean, for our equipment, we mostly want Slash and Pierce resistance, so I've set everyone else up accordingly for that. Um, Surya, I actually changed to a Kanoichi, because I don't have anyone that uses one-hand katanas, like Wakazashis and stuff, so... And ninjas are the only class that can use them, so I thought, yeah, why not? Why don't we, uh... Why don't we roll these? It seems pretty fun to me, so there we go. You're a Kanoichi now, you have access to some fire magic and Benum. I think it's cool. Like I said, I just like to have as much variety as I possibly can in the party. Um, you're still rocking the Nodachi, which will be fantastic because it's extra effective against humans. Um, RSL's in the party and has a Balder Bow. Um, Murden is in the party with the Cutlass. You're in the party, of course. Fulkert's in, Bayon's in, Denalta's in, and uh, I believe I have Uhukin as well. And then, yeah, uh, Batarin I was going to put in, but I took out, because I was like, eh. So, there we go, we got the whole party active uh, here. I was going to put that Dragon Wound thing on, uh, removes Dragon Scale, with a 100% success rate. Um, but it doesn't seem like they have an ability, the dragons called that. I imagine it's like Gordian Lock, where it's like this, an ability they activate, and then they get like a bunch of defense. Um, but neither of these have that, so I'm hoping that means I'm good. Unless it's just like a passive effect that dragons have. So, whatever. To a battle. We gotta get this fight taken care of. Stand proud, warriors of Bakram. Our enemy may not wield torches and scythes, but they are a mob. Focus your attacks on their commander, and they will wither before us. To battle! Okay, you knew. Vestiari. Also, yeah, I have a, as much Balder armor as I can possibly squeeze on uh, for that increased resistance to dark magic. Alright, Surya. Let's see what you're, what you're like. Your stats are nearly identical to your sister's. Um, one of the things I did notice is a lot of the stat differences between you two are just because of um, the fact that uh, Sistina has an upgraded weapon and upgraded armor, and you do not. Um, so those would be most of the stat differences. So your stats are almost identical, uh, at least right now. So that is interesting. Um... Can double attack this. Might as well. Beat it up. Yeah, I just like the idea of having as much variety as possible as far as weapons go. 
uh, on my party. It's neat to try out all the different types of weapons and stuff. I'm never usually one that likes to go the most efficient route or uh, the most optimized route on anything, because uh, I usually find it boring. Unless the game's just absurdly long, and then I get to the end and I'm like, alright, we this needs to end. Um, if I decide to do multiple paths, um, I would probably use some more of the uh, busted strategies then um, and things, just because, you know, then the game can go faster because I'll just be straight up stronger. So if I do do some of the other routes, which once again, we still need to see how long one route here is going to take, but I'm interested in at least doing one of the other ones, I believe. Um, and in that route, I would be totally open to uh, doing some pretty crazy things. There's a few different types of units I want to mess around with. Um, and stuff. So I would be I would be interested in doing some really busted things with that, but for my first playthrough, I kind of just want to do whatever I please. Uh, because it's fun to me. Sometimes the uh, most efficient route isn't the most fun one anyway. So, there we go. Ban. They're slowly advancing. Dragon's Bane for everyone there. And, uh, yeah, I do actually have pincer attack on you, which is, uh, cool. So we are rocking that. Paralysis Blade. Got that active. Yeah, mostly with this class, the velocity shift, as I mentioned last time, is just absurd. It's so amazing. Anything that speeds up your characters that much and its range is massive is godlike in these kinds of games, so... I mean, it's basically, like, since we don't have access to, like, a, a fantastic, like, haste spell, it's basically our version of haste in this. Um, like, we have, we have the boon of swiftness, but that only targets, like, one person, but the thing there can target multiple people, which just makes it amazing. So. I do like this music that's playing here. It's quite hype. I enjoy it for that. Uh, oh yeah, I don't have Boon of Swiftness on because I have Resurrect on you. Damn it. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to hold with you, Donalto. I need to put Boon of Swiftness back on. Resurrect is nice to have, but I also like having Ease on, so... Bit of a problem there. Big stabs. Eagle Eye. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone with that. Another thing I was considering doing with you was, um... Taking off the attack twice, the double attack, and just giving you, like, a Wakazashi and a, uh... Blowgun? Because you can use blowguns, but... I'm not sure. Maybe? Especially since Amalia seems like, uh... She's gonna get less, uh... Less time in these battles, now that we're getting all kinds of other characters. Maybe, but... I don't know. Cool. Silenced. But we'll see. We'll see. There's there's so many party members to use. It's it's just gonna be a wild ride from here on out, I believe. Really getting eaten up by this by these archers. This is why I mostly wanted pierce defense. So and this is why I wanted a lot of piercing attack as well. Because um they have a lot of mages and we are gonna eat through them. Uh, ooh. Uh, Poison Cloud? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, well, we got the dragon. The dragon has the bigger health bar anyway, so... More dragons being... Fortunately, I can't hit you from a range, so we're not quite there yet. God, I've been playing too much Sparks of Hope, because I was just like, it's okay, I can use my movement boost item to get Murden right into the range of that character. But no. That's, uh, that's not possible. Okay, fearful impact on someone here. Probably this, uh, lightning dragon. Yeah. Frightened, breached, and, um, my dragoon is about to hit you with a dragon slayer attack. That sounds fantastic to me. Holbrum, ah, oh, you don't have enough for any of your dances. Damn, that would have been amazing. Whatever, get the auto skill anyway pretty good on you. Uh, yeah, this water's causing some issues here. You're gonna have to go over here. 
kill just to get over there. Because, uh, do you have the Balder armor on? I don't know if you do. No, you have a Brigandine, so... Yeah, I didn't see too much water, so I was like, eh, Wade's not that needed, but maybe it was. Uh, we can get across right here. You can make that jump next turn there. And then Uhuk, of course, can Wade, so... Bonk. Nice try. That shield's doing work. Physical up. Uh. Alright, well, Canopus, you know what you're doing. So. Get in there and start the assassinating. Um. 112. That's who I really want to be hitting right now. 253 to the dragon, though, because of all those debuffs I have on you. 172. That's fine. Owie. Alright, Donalto, you finally got something to do. Uh, go ahead and heal. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Uh, physical up, for sure. On Denim. Can't hit you, unfortunately, but, uh, we'll deal. I'll be able to get you soon. Very, very soon, I will be able to annihilate you. Ow. By the mercy of the Father Great, purify the sullied flesh! How dare you. Very annoying. Okay, we got a preempt, so I need to go ahead and get you in here. Uh, oops. Oh, do I not have your, uh... Yeah, I took your active skill off, that is right. Um, Lion's Dance, I could buff a lot of people. Yeah, sure. Brinkman. There we go. Now we'll do even more Dimaggio. And then Dragon's Bane on everyone as well. Oh yeah, beautiful. This dragon's probably dead. 822. Rest in peace. Int card. Um... I want, like, Bayon can't get it. Hmm. You might just have to take it. Otherwise, like, the Dragoon or this dork is gonna take it. We'll move right here. And, uh, wait. Alright, you. Double attack. You're not doing a lot of damage because that thing resists you. You could, however, throw one of these at those dorks. Let's do that. Fire Snake. There we go. I mean, that's something. Let's grab that magic up if I'm going to be having you do that more often. Okay. Your magic leafing, your stupid person over there. Um. RSL. You're not awful against this dragon. So, you can go ahead and shoot there. Bayon might just get you to drop more poison, friend. 66% chance. Beautiful. More poison thrown down. You're very, very adorable. That hurt. This is also gonna hurt. My god. Yup. I mean, did I did I say it or did I say it? Those archers are eating me up. Okay, you can get this now. Good. Extra int on Sestina there. Uh, ruination. Or I just stab you and hope for the poison? Nope. Okay, you can get over here now. Gildas. Um, not really much for you to do, but drop a heal on Falkert there. Actually, I could have got you to heal Bayon. Probably shoulda. Vent of the dead. Oh, you're so boned. All of you are so boned. Uh, Sonic Blade or Lightning Strike. Probably just a Sonic Blade. There we are. And Uhuk. Uh, you can go in here and kind of terrorize their backline. 
269. Gaia Sunder. Gaia Sunder would be better. Bonk. Ooh, good poison. Wonderful. Okay, Canopus. Um, who could you shoot? You could shoot there. I want you shooting uh, Bucard back there, though. Let's uh, let's just shoot you. But then let's grab that physical up, because I want it. So you can start wrecking these nerds back here. Uh, definitely, definitely heal, Bayon. Those archers are getting very, very frustrated with you, old man. Surprised you didn't throw a rock at Bayon. Steel stance. Uh... Let's see, how much would this do you? Nothing. Alternately... I could shadow bind you and go grab the physical... We already have a crit and... a physical damage up. I think we're fine. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and wail on you. Yeah, that's fine to me. The Enchantress is on their way. At least the boss is going to be stupid easy to kill this time. Yeah, you're easing all your nerds. Luckily, we have a ton of status effects we're just throwing on top of them constantly. Boom. Steel stance. Cool. Yeah, I'm doing like nothing to you. Oh well. Stabbies. At least I got the stun. Um, Paradigm shift. Eh. We'll uh, just hit this dragon with some magic, I think. Yeah, that sounds good to me. We gotta take you out. You're kind of in our back line here. Ooh, he leveled up with our tomes. May my call become the light of purest heaven, salvation yours. The only problem with making um, Surya a um, ninja, of course, is the fact that, uh, you know, we, um, let's see, how much could I do? Rending Gale. Vile Wound. Let's Vile Wound you and run away. Good poison. Um, the only problem with making you uh, that class is you're not good with katanas, obviously. So that's uh, an issue. Let's go ahead and grab this physical up. And... Can't really hit anybody that I want to. Unless... Yeah, no, it's gonna, it's gonna guarantee no matter what. Um, yeah. Just, uh, smack the dragon with your shield. It does more damage anyway. There we go. Ow. Back attack on you. Tremendous shot. Who are you hitting? Oh. Okay. Cute. Uh... Sir, yeah. Or Sestina, sorry. I'm gonna get you two mixed up now, I suppose. Uh, yeah, sure. Big stab. That's fine with me. Got that poison active again. Uh, magic up. Sure, take it, Gildas. You heal. Bonk. 100 damage to you. That's fine. Probably just need another heal on Bayon at this point. This seems like not that bad of a battle, so... It's gonna be fine. More Lament of the Dead. Beautiful. And I can finish you. Good, good, good. Go ahead and get that auto skill up again so you can keep getting that Lament out. Ow. Don't hurt my Bayon. Bayon did nothing wrong. Go ahead and get Uhuk in here. There's a good chance I can stop both of these idiots. Well, never mind. One of them's dead. Well, I know what I want you doing, Canopus. 
as we've been over. Bukhog. Eat that damage, nerd. Okay, now we just gotta go finish this stupid doofus off. Uh, 156, as long as one of these crit, or I poison you, that's fine. There we go. Just a little longer before the Lost Lorian host arrives to relieve us. Hold! For the glory of Bakram, hold! All right. I think you're getting enough reinforcements to stop me, eh? Alrighty. Yeah, they're wasting a lot of turns just easing all of these, these plethora of, de of debuffs I'm just throwing on all of your allies here. <laughs> we have so many going down. Mind's Eye. Uh, now let's get in here and... 280. I'll take it. Beautiful. And Surya. Uh, I mean, once again, you're not going to be doing a whole lot here. Mm. I mean, you can do some damage to the dragon, but not too much yet. At least I'm leveling up your, your skill there. At least we got that going for us. Uh, yeah, and I can use Disembrain? So rage is crushing damage by pressing them beneath an enormous rock. Disembrain, you say? And then, yeah, we have raining blows as well. Weird. My god. Disembrain is incredibly dark sounding. Alrighty. Um, I, like, I read that right, right? I'm not just, I'm not just being dumb because I'm sleepy. Disembrain, yes. No, that's what it's called. <laughs> what a nuts name. Uh, slumber shot on the dragon would be nice. Yes! Finally, we actually got that stupid thing to work. Ruination. You leave Uhuk alone. You stop that. Okay, so... Okay, RSL has, like, Dragon's Bane and stuff now. You can probably just run up here now. Let's, uh, get into this fight, why don't we? You've done your work. Never even really got the chance to use Dragon Slayer there. Uh, Ruination? Yeah. Ah! And Mother's Blessing. Heal you up, Bane. That looks beautiful to me. And a velocity shift. But you weren't around anyone to really make it worth it. Ice prison? Bonk. More damage than you would have done with a regular attack. Owie. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. bum. You're gonna steal my items. How rude of you. We are poisoned. Ooh, a Balder Shield. Yay. I want that. You're frightened. Uh, Sonic Blade. Not enough, but close. Maybe the poison will finish you now. And I just dull bind you again, Mukad. Looks good to me. All right, big heals coming out again. At least the fight's almost over. This hasn't been too difficult of a battle yet. Check. Ooh, good stop. Ooh. Um, move up there and mending seed yourself, so you have a chance to get another stop off. I just kind of want you in the middle of them. Very annoying how much they're healing, though. I will give them that. Alright, what is this? Luck? Or physical? Sure, take a luck card, Denim. You can't really get in there super easily at the moment, anyway. So it'll be fine. 
It'll be a-okay. And you just got healed, annoyingly. Unfortunately, don't have enough to guarantee a kill on you here. Um, yeah. Fortunately, you're still alive with, like, barely any HP. Uh... How much damage would you do here? 46, not enough. Alright, Surya, get over there. I don't even think Bayon will do enough. Uh... Yeah, the thing has a lot of HP left, so... I think we leave that to someone else. Um... Sure. Vulcan Lance Bayard there. So we can just get another kill. More skill level ups. Get up there. Kill this. And you. Dark weight on the dragon. Will nearly kill it. Yeah. Eupalamus. And you're leaden and still stunned, so. Your strength and just faded. Uh, you're still stopped in poison, so. Vile Wound Bukad. Beautiful. Alright, this battle's done. Owie. That hurt. But it's fine. Uh, you, I can probably help along the road to death. There we go. Alrighty. Alright, sorry, I had to do something really quickly, but we are good now. And I will heal up Surya. Beautiful, beautiful. And... Sure, I mean, get in there, Denim. I, I don't think you're gonna be able to do much the rest of this fight. But get in there, nonetheless. Zoshanel, Goddess of Fire. That's fine. My poison fade. Hey, you got rid of my poison. You burned the poison away. Thank you. What takes them so long? Surely Los Lorian has not abandoned us. Uh, I have bad news. I don't see any dark knights riding from the castle. The rift between the two forces must be wide indeed. Yeah, well, we know what happened in, uh, <laughs> we know what happened with Vice and everything, so, uh, needless to say, the Knights of Los Lorien are not very happy with you. Oh, I wish that Lament of the Dead had hit you. Oh, well, I can just guarantee it myself. Here you go. Bonk. Then, um, I think you'll be able to finish the dragon off here. Surya? I think. No. Nope, you just don't quite do enough damage with those uh, one-handed katanas. I mean, a wakazashi is supposed to just be a paired dagger, effectively. Just a very, very short katana with a regular katana, so... Uh... Bonk. And... This is death. Yep, I'm tired of you healing, so... Bye-bye. Preempt. Could you make it up to that archer up there, Hobram? Yes, you can. Beautiful. Get a good, uh, get a good stab there. Nice Skyrend. Yeah, the Nadachi does nearly just as much. And now the dragon is dead. Goodbye. Ooh, what is that? Strength? Oh, no, you know what? Maybe we should give that to, uh... Surya, since she's struggling anyway in that department. So. Guardian Force. Uh, yes. And I do believe I have Pinsir on you. There we go. Good shit. Ooh, we're getting a lot of green cards. That's nice. What is this? Agility... Uh, if Denim could reach that, I would give it to Denim. Uh, we'll hold off for now. You can't reach it anyway, I don't believe, so. Well, you're dead, so never mind. Oh my god, look at all the cards! We're getting so many! Isn't it beautiful? 
Uh, yeah, I want that agility on Denim. Harness power of the worm! Yeah, that's gonna hurt. But, uh, it's fine. Alright, it's just you and your healer now. How do you feel? Uh, Ban, nothing for you to do. There we go, Surya. Go ahead and grab that strength card, why don't ya? Increase that strength. Alright. And then you need to get over there, RSL. Nothing really for you to shoot yet, but... There's my Balder shield. And we can major heal you two. Sustaino, you can just continue taking a dirt nap for, for now. Ooh, crit up. Yes. And... Can't hit you, obviously. Can hit the boss, though. Fulkert, what is that? Dexterity or agility? Um, I think I should give the dexterity to, like... I don't know, Holbrum or something? I think it'd be most useful in, like, my archers, right? Uh... Melee, enraged accuracy, and attack. Okay, so it wouldn't be bad on Holbrum. Yeah, we'll give the Holbrum. I like Holbrum a lot. You're just a cool unit. My god, all those auto effects going off. There you go, friend. There we go. And... Uhuk, get in here and bop this unit. Big damage. You... Gildas? Let's see, agility is just melee accuracy, so... Eh, let's just give it to... Honestly, agility doesn't really matter that much. I frankly just don't have a lot of issues hitting most of the time. It's really not a problem. For the most part. Got some thread, though. Yep, keep healing yourselves. It's alright, the, the, the Knights Lost Lorien, they're on their way. They're, they're just, they're right over the hill there. Believe me. They're definitely coming to save you. Yeah, concentration, we don't care, Bayon. Everybody else is just too far away to really help here. Mind's eye. Just run you over here, Holbrum. Alright, battle's basically over. And I gotta get this, uh... rendered and uploaded in time here, so... It's a good thing, it's, uh, almost finished. Sure. You that HP. Uh, Poison Bringer. Yep, looks good to me. That also looks good to me. Canopus. So, Uhook's gonna finish off you. So I'm just gonna dull bind the boss. There we are. You can chill back there. I suppose I could attack some, attack some bushes and stuff. Does that raise your weapon level if I just attack bushes with you? Maybe that would be a good thing to do. Maybe you still bonking bushes can be helpful. You're very cute. Finally, we're getting, like, wizard's hats and stuff. Uh, we gotta end this fast, though. Sustina's about to die. Um, do have to keep that in mind. You know what? I, I have the MP with you. Let's just go ahead and resurrect, just so I don't make a mistake here. There you go. Up you come. And good. Preempt Mind's Eye. Alright, another pretty easy battle here. Denim, could you get into Heart Crusher? Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go have you attack these uh, Hisakas. Go, go get some training in, alright? Training day. Guardian Force. And you are dead. Vanquished. Hold the line. Hold. Hodor. Yeah.
Boom. Alrighty. 54 minute recording. Ooh, Codex of Gyms! Permanent attack that strikes multiple tiles. So we got a water charm and a gloom orb. Beautiful. I mostly just like that new crafting thing I just got. Beautiful. What in the world is that crazy looking thing that you two just got? Uh... The front line is broken. Fidoc will fall. And with me sitting the throne, a disgrace. We must salvage what we can, my lord. Depart at once. Leave the castle's defense to us. You expect me to desert my post? The High Champion is a field without so much as an honor guard. I am asking you to protect him. Ah, of course. We must see to Lancelot. And there is the matter of the girl besides. Osma, the castle is yours. I'll take good care of her. Osma, watch yourself out there. And you, my lord. I wonder if way later in the game, I think it'd be kind of cool if we just had a giant battle against all of the Dark Knights. I think that'd be awesome. Uh, alrighty, so it was Arcel and Bayon. Double shot. Allow two attacks to be made with ranged weapons. Does not apply to fusils or attack out of attacks out of range. That is amazing. Uh, engulf. Increase the area of next range attack or spell cast by two. That's neat. Um. Well. Uh, the tremendous shot can go. I never use it. I'd rather double shot. So that, that for sure. Engulf would be nice, but I, I feel like I'd rather have a lot of these other things, maybe. Yeah, it's just not useful for range attacks because I can already go outside my range anyway. So, yeah. But on you, however. Ah, but see, I would have to drop like spell books or cudgels to get that. It would be useful, but no, I don't think so. Um, as far as equipment goes, I do finally have a wizard's hat! What a concept! Beautiful. Um, I mean, we should probably just go ahead and put that on you. That looks like it's way better than your little circlet. I also got some other new things, yeah? Uh, was it like a... I wish they had like a sort by new tab. It would be nice. I'm pretty sure I got another piece of equipment that I didn't recognize, but I don't quite remember what it was. There's another new piece of equipment. And no, I'm not talking about the recipe. Oh yeah, it was a Balder Shield. That's right, Balder Shield. Um, so... For you, maybe? There it is. Balder Shield. Ooh, and yeah, it's good against magic. Okay, that's neato. I do like that. Cool. There we go, there's some more options there. Awesome. Well, I think we're probably gonna go ahead and end this episode off right here. Like I said, this has to be a shorter one today because I still have to get it up by... in two hours. So it'll probably be late today, but... Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tactics Ogre, and I'll see you next time for some more.